Hey y'all, I am getting ready to go uh, run a few errands. Y'all wanna go with me to run some errands? We have now, you, you need to be mindful of the time, girl. We have exactly one and a half hours to run this errand, these errands. Now, now let me tell y'all where we're going. We're gonna go, um, I'm gonna go to McDonald's so I can get me some coffee. Yeah, y'all, I've been on the coffee thing. I don't care where I get it from. I just, now I'm back on coffee. <laughs> but you know I limited one today I have some coffee now Starbucks has this new vanilla bean with coconut milk I love it I love it but it's expensive so we're gonna go to McDonald's hold on y'all so you can see me I took my hair down let it breathe out a little bit because when I'm wash day it's gonna be tomorrow and I'm gonna try and get in two reviews can you see me does it look blurry oh now I got my face recognition on so it should be okay um yeah I have to do two videos tomorrow I'm behind I was supposed to have done them um, Wednesday what it is what it is and because of that I will more than likely shit let me think I gotta go into the office Monday these I almost curse these lovely people at my job but just not telling me that I am on an old system well hell that explains a lot my system keeps shutting down I'm in the middle of work in the middle of closing out stuff and my system just reboots and I'm like what the hell is going on so um finally got into contact and they were like, oh, we all switched to another, we all on other systems. You on one of the old ones. I'm like, yeah, I know that. So I have to go down to our Tuki. I'm going to be down there by you, Rhonda, on Monday. Um, but I just don't go into the office. Look, y'all, I am a mess. I'm not going to be showing up and ain't, gonna, ain't nobody going to be there with me. So I asked one of my coworkers if she's going to be down there. She said yes. And... I sent a message to my good Judy Nick and asked him if he wants to eat, if he wants to go out to um, lunch Monday. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So now I have someone who can be with me at work on Monday and I have someone to go to lunch with on Monday. Yeah, I'm a mess. So anyway, what I want to talk about? Okay, so running errands today. I don't have a lot of time, so I need to shush up too, but gotta go by the bank. Gotta go by um, McDonald's, get my little grub. Go to my credit union. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a car wash I don't even know if I want to do that quite frankly because it's still kind of raining here storming every every other day so um, then I have to go to my credit union um, to deposit some money and then go pick up JB I want some tacos in between that they may not happen so I may have to make some tacos at home y'all I'm craving tacos hey y'all I went and got me some tacos work is going crazy I stopped by y'all won't believe where I stopped by I haven't had this place in years but I live in an area it's a pretty nice area first of all we don't have a lot of fast food restaurants that Raisin Cane y'all see us go to is in the hood well, I have not had Taco Bell in when I told you it was like the early 2000s that's a lie 2006 2007 my friend and I wander whenever we would go out. We would go to Taco Bell afterwards. Now, I only eat the tacos. Oh, y'all, this may make me sick. And I only eat it with, I only eat it fresco style. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But look. Let me see if his name is on this receipt. You know how they typically have whoever cashes you out have your name. Is his name on here? Diego's. Girl, no, that's Spanish. Um, I don't know who it was, but some brother all tatted up. Maybe it says Lindsay. Maybe his name is Lindsay because Lindsay can be a, a male's name. Anyway. I'll tell it up when I get through when I drive up he's like dang beautiful he must have called me beautiful at least five times give me my give me my tacos I'm hungry thank you but give me my food is that like, all right then beautiful young guy y'all I got a lot of younger guys talking to me I don't even know if I mentioned this hold on early 20s early 20s the youngest was in high school <laughs> One guy recently, well not recently, last month, I took JB when I took him to an indoor playground. He worked there. Young guy. And he was like, oh, are you doing your homework? <laughs> he thought I was in college. 
and you could be older in college, but he kept talking to me. And I caught him a few times looking at my looking at my titties. Hell, maybe that's why he thought I was young. You know, I'm 37. I'm about to be 38, but these these breasts are sitting up at 25 years old, girl. I ordered three, but I can only eat one. You know why? Because taste the powder that they use to mix on that fake meat look y'all when you don't eat y'all see me out a lot eating but i can't eat like this all the time i can't eat the rest of that i don't even know how they make it but i can taste a powdery substance now what i will do is finish this watermelon slushy they gave me girl Top this off with some rum or some Patron. <laughs> y'all keep me in your prayers because that, that's ratchet as hell. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm at Walgreens because we have time. I mean, it's a good, oh, that honeycomb is on sale for 188. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get any coffee. I'm not gonna get any coffee unless it's on sale. Is it on sale? Oh gosh, should I get it, y'all? Oh my gosh. Let me see if they have creamer. Yeah, I'm just blowing time. I'm gonna see if I, I can find something for JB. He don't need nothing, but. Uh, JB, one thing I will say about my child, my child is very, very, very humble. I could buy him something like, it doesn't matter. I could get him something like that. And he's, think, he's giving me a million thanks. You know, it doesn't have to be, even this. That would be something he really loves. <laughs> I know, but which one are we gonna do first? Look at your 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 milk has spilled. Can we pick that up, please? This child's out of control. Um, Y'all, look. I I don't think I mentioned this, but the scoring on my left breast. First of all, every woman. <laughs> Um, those of you, it may be more significant than others. You, one, we are baby. One breast is always bigger than the other one. So my left breast was bigger than my other one. So the scoring is different. The scoring right up underneath the cup of the breast is kind of keloiding a little bit. And I, all my surgeries, it did that, but then it slowly went away. But yeah, it's raised more so than the other side. So I'm gonna order me some vitamin E oil, um, and some more shea butter here. I went through all that stuff, of course, like that. I even, I'm going through JB stash, so I'm gonna buy some more stuff. And tea tree oil. I've been making my own scar cream, basically, because it's starting to keloid. You're gonna make shirts. I'm good making shirts? Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to sing, swing, bang, gang. Okay, that doesn't sound right. Y'all, I have an attitude problem. Two reasons. I've been up since 2.30. I have insomnia and normally, <laughs> almost every night I wake up around two and three and I can go back to bed. It didn't happen this time around. Now I did go to bed at 8.30, so I got roughly about six hours of sleep, but I am tired that noise you hear in the background is coffee brewing i dropped jb off which i'm gonna get to that in a minute because that has me having an attitude i dropped jb off and then i went to starbucks and there's a line like eight people in front of me i'm like to hell with this let me go ahead and get me some coffee get me some creamer get me some coconut milk get me some caramel sauce and make my own damn coffee y'all i've tried i've tried hard not to buy any coffee and put it in here because i will drink it every day at this point <clears throat> excuse me second reason why i have an attitude when i go to drop off jb and i've been dropping him off inside there's two ways i see people going through the gate and then people who go through the building one of the teachers stopped me today and I kind of sort of know him, I don't know his name, but his kid used to go to Jamie's old school. So I've seen him at birthday parties, yada, yada, yada. Nice guy. 
today though he's like he's like you know um from now on why don't you just you know you don't have to go through here you guys don't come through here you just drop him off he knows where to go he knows to go down there and i said i didn't say anything at first because i was like okay um I said, but I need to talk to the teacher right now. He's like, okay, you know, well, there's email. And he starts laughing. First of all, I don't like people who laugh at their own jokes, one. Two, I've been coming into this building all week, greeted by people in the front. Now, none of them have us told me that you couldn't do that. So, I, you know, verified the process with the teacher. And she's like, yeah, they prefer if you drop them off here at the gate. I said, well, okay, that's what I'll do. Let me, let me get my coffee. Is that good enough? Let me park, turn off the car. It's not too, too, too hot inside the car, y'all. Let me light up this one window. I'm gonna get it together, sis, I am. Let me put some lipstick on these dark lips. Y'all, sometimes when I look at my videos again, I'm like, girl, your lips. Y'all, my lips are naturally and this is my mom's side of the family. They, we all have dark lips like we've been smoking black and mouse for 300 years. So, <laughs> those of you who don't know, cigars. Little mini cigars. At least they look evenly, evenly dark now. So, my manager, poor thing. My manager, y'all, you want to talk about a modern day job. I'm not going to give her business all in here because you never know who watches your videos, like I said before. But my manager has gone through so much um, over the course of the past year. She has, she has had multiple losses. Both of her grandparents have passed away. Both of her grandmothers. I, like, I literally think it's about four people that have passed away this year. Her husband was diagnosed with cancer. Her husband is, and they're young. Like, I think that she's in her 40s. Her husband is in his 50s. To me, that's young. So, yeah, she's going through a lot. Um, long story short, she had to cancel on 101 this morning. And so, that's why I had rushed back home. And, I mean, first I was upset because I literally was planning my morning afternoon around to get this 101 done. Cause I, and plus, I had some things I wanted to tell her. But that's fine. You know, we go through personal stuff. You know, that's life. So, at this point, your girl is running on empty. And the only reason why I had all that coffee was to give me some energy for that meeting. If I would have known she was going to cancel that meeting, <coughs> I wouldn't have had that coffee and I would have laid down. I'm not a napper. I can't nap. I think that uh, the last time I was able to go to bed before 5 p.m. was when I was pregnant because I was tired and my belly was swollen. Um, but I can't nap you guys. Now, I will lay down and close my eyes and pretend like I'm sleeping, but I'm not. <laughs> Um, so at this point, I'm going to, you know, go run some errands, uh, completely forgot that my husband's birthday is, is near my birthday. I didn't forget. Wow. My husband's birthday is on the 12th. My birthday is on the 11th of next week. So we don't give anything. We, we don't, we go out to eat. That's traditional for us. We go out to eat to one of our favorite restaurants and I make a cake. That's what we do. Now we'll make it each other cards, but we stopped giving, you know, birthday presents a long time ago. Although I know he's going to give me something. I know he is. I tell, I ask him every year not to give me anything, but he does. Before it gets really, really hot, because like I said, it's, it's around 90 degrees. Let me hold up this camera, y'all, because this, this is a mess. I'm going to go ahead, go get my nails done. Now, since I'm not in a good mood, I really need for Tina and Tom not to ask me 100 questions. I mean, y'all, I'm in that mood to where I'm going to be at the nail shop with my earphones in and, <laughs> and looking at a movie because... I'm just one of those type of people when I'm in a certain mood. Of course, I'm going to be cordial and all this. Where's my phone at? But I really don't want to talk while I'm getting my nails done. Yeah, I'm going to need for... I really want Tina to do them because she's faster than Tom. But when it's been a long time... Tina and Tom are my nail technicians, you guys. And when it's a long time when I, when I haven't seen them, she gets mad at me. First of all, they don't even say hi. It's a, it's always long time no see, long, long time no see, honey. Where you, where you been at? Why you, why you don't get your nails done here? I'm like, hello, good morning. Long time no see is not. That's not how you say hello in English, Tina. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am done getting my nails done. Now these are a little bit. Th these are short for me. 
Can y'all see that? These are a little bit shorter than what I would like them, but my nails grow pretty fast. So I don't like them too short because then they look, might make my hands look like sausages. You see that? I look short, short and stubby. So, but they, my nails grow pretty fast. Um, and so they'll grow out. But by, by my birthday, girl, they'll grow out. Excuse me, my voice is cackling. Um, Tom is a hot mess, girl. Why when I, <laughs> I go in there and. You know, your first thing when you go into a nail shop, you get your, you, you pick out your color. Now, I already had it on my mind to pick out purple, right? And he's like, no, you need lucky color. You you pick out color for luck. I said, but then what's the color for luck then? He says, blue. I'm like, cool. Doing my nails. And then um, he's like, yeah, this is this is good color. Um, he's like, you know, Chinese is, is the color for luck is red, but I'm not Chinese. I said, I know that. You're Vietnamese. He's like, yeah, I'm Vietnamese. He said, but blue is my favorite color. It's a color. It's my lucky color. I'm like, oh, so blue is not a lucky color at all. It's just your favorite color. Child, I'm like, if you don't sit your... <laughs> just making up shit. Talking about it's a lucky, lucky color. No, it's his favorite color, basically. So anyway, I'm up here at Staples. Um, I need to fax this stuff over. It is still early, like 10.30. And then um, I think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and get my husband his birthday card there. Yeah, I am cheap. I am on a budget right now. Okay, so I will be going to the Dollar Tree to get my husband his birthday card. They got good birthday cards there. So yeah, I'm going to get his birthday card there. We were supposed to have gotten the promotions and our yearly raises back in March. Well, in March, they informed us that everything's going to come through in July. Cool, right? Now, I've been working diligently and hard to put my spot in for a promotion. Clearly, it didn't come through. didn't come through, but everyone would be getting a raise. You know but why is it you know they have a certain app within our country a country our company's intranet where you can see who was awarded promotions in your department on your team why did I look and saw that someone got a promoted and I am I'm shocked that this person was able to get a promotion I'm happy for her but at the same time I'm like I'm like what do I gotta do to get a dang on promotion, y'all? I feel like I have done everything. Now, now I will say, three years ago, I literally went to my manager, because at this time, I was doing the job of three people. Right now, we have a team for the learning, learning management team. It's a team of five of us. There was no one but me. So I was able to negotiate and get a pay increase that was nearly 4,000 what I'm making now. So in, at this point, I'm in my position for six years, and there has been, that was three years ago, right? There has been no, excuse me, no movement, and I've taken on more and more responsibilities. I'm doing a lot more, and I'm like, because I look, girl, I looked at that announcement for a long time, and I was looking at trying to figure out, okay, is this done in error? Like, seriously, I guess a part of me did not expect anyone to get promotions. This is where I'm coming from because we've had layoffs in the, in the department and it's been, you know, quote unquote slow. I didn't expect anyone to get promotion promotions, let alone, let alone this person. I'm like, what in the hell? Whew. I'm gonna change my attitude towards it. If you wanna make a change, you gotta be a change. That's some Tony Robbins self talk right now but if you want if you want to make a change you got to be the change if you want to see a change you have to be the change so let me not complain about it i'm gonna congratulate the woman she's on vacation right now i'm gonna congratulate her when she comes back in all sincerity i will congratulate her when i come back and i need to have a heart to heart conversation with my manager yeah it is what it is um let me go up in here and i gotta retwist my hair tonight because like i told you i'm going to into the office on monday i'm getting a brand new computer so i don't know how long this is going to take but we schedule it for 9 30. i'm having lunch with my friends around 11 and everyone knows look vivian's gonna be in in the phoenix office which is way up that's an hour away from me with traffic so um then i'm off for my birthday next week. Now y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all about the cake I'm cooking in a couple of more minutes. Let me go in here and um, fix this stuff.
Tired. Look, stopping by the mall was not planned. A lottie pop. Yeah, okay, JB. But when I ended up stopping by Forever 21 and I got me a birthday shirt. This is really cute. Um, they have pickaboo shoulders right here. And the shirt was $12. I found these cute little gold earrings for three bucks. And this cute little gold necklace for three bucks. Everything together and JB got some candy was less than $25. <laughs> I budget myself, y'all. It's just a lollipop. Mm -hmm. I said if I'm going to buy me something, I'm going to do something uh, that's less than 25 bucks. JB. So I have some cute little snake skin, copper-like shoes. And I'm going to wear some jeans. Um, where is it? When it's your birthday, you'd be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, I will try to do that, all right? Okay. Oh, yeah, like I said, we are home. Uh, we've been home for a while, y'all. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm putting this on. Okay, let's put that up, actually, please. Um, Y'all, as soon as I came in, I could smell the trash. And y'all, I don't like smells stinky smells so instead of being like a normal person and taking off the trash and bleaching it no i didn't do that oh i did that and some i took out the trash i bleached it i cleaned the floors bleached the floors i cleaned the bathroom uh sinks and i cleaned the toilets and the showers because i want to make sure that i i make sure i get out the spots bleached on the countertops <laughs> So I did that. It took me about an hour to do all that because I'm like, heck no, I, I, no. So anyway, um, Peppa Pig is on. Y'all have voted for the lemon velvet cake. Now that is a cake that I found on a blog and this woman has created several different type of velvet flavored cakes. I think she has like six of them, a raspberry, um, strawberry, and then lemon. That lemon looks very good and more don't do that the only thing that kind of bothered me by her her recipe is from scratch by the way the one thing that bothered me like with her recipe i'm talking is that she used vegetable she used um shortening and she used vegetable oil it doesn't make any sense to do both i've seen recipes that call for butter and vegetable oil but to but to oh, use shortening dude, and cheap. vegetable oil this can actually be yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So I called my best friend a couple of days ago and was talking to her about it. She's like, no, don't do that. And I, I, want, I want to call my mama here. Yeah, I, we, we are some cooking heifers. We make it a big deal. Um, not a big cooking deal, but. <laughs> so. I have no idea what, what cooking heifers are. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do it from scratch just because I can't find. Well, since it's, it's her recipe. I don't want to do it from scratch and do it like that. I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to use a box cake mix. Um, but there are certain things that you could do to a box cake mix to make it taste homemade. Look, y'all, like I shared in my Instagram photo, I've been, I know how to add stuff to a box cake mix so I can fool some people. I actually used to fool one of my coworkers when I used to work for hospice, I would make the birthday cakes. A really good cook, and he went on to uh, attend Cordon Bleu here in Scottsdale. I mean, he was a really good cook, and he would even say, your cakes are some of the best cakes I've ever had. So I admitted to him later on that I said, those are actually mixed cake mix. He's like, my mixed cake mix don't taste like that. I said, that's because I don't use vegetable oil all the time. Sometimes I do vegetable oil, sometimes I do butter. Um, off the time I would use one more egg. Sometimes I would use three eggs, one mm -hmm. egg white to make it fluffy. So long story short girl, with this particular cake, it's gonna be box cake mix. And plus I think it'll be easier for y'all to follow, but I'm gonna use buttermilk. I'm gonna find some really good vanilla. 
will probably will go to um I want to I want to see if I can find some Mexican vanilla. I'm uh, really good quality <laughs> vanilla and lemon lemon extract and pure lemon zest. We will go out to eat Saturday because Boo Boo is coming up with us out to eat and on Saturday. Don't do that, baby. You're interrupting my my vlog. <laughs> And it's a lollipop. And can I eat Yeah, so this? we're going to go out to eat. No, you cannot eat that. Why? Because I said you cannot eat it. You already had one. Um, a toilet? <laughs> yeah, he has his candy in the shape of a toilet. <laughs> oh, real Today? quick. Today? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, need to be powder in here. <laughs> Get that out of my camera. Don't, don't you dare. I'm going to choke you. If you, want you to, ain't no white people around to save you either. Choke you. <laughs> white, white or black or brown. Ain't nobody around to save the baby. Anyway. So anyway, y'all, um, since my husband, since this man is off, I'm gonna say, um, we need to go to the mall to find him something to wear because he's talking about all his suits he's saying don't fit. He says that they're too little. He's well. He said he doesn't like the way they fit. I said, are you 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 gaining weight? How much do you weigh, player? Let's go weigh your fat butt. See how much. <laughs> My husband's not fat. I'm like he's he's athletic, Bill, and he works out every day. But his, his stomach is getting bigger, low key. His stomach. Yeah. Where's my belt at? Or a flip flop? Ooh, my neck hurts, boo boo. Can you move out the way so I can get you? I don't want you showing everything. Come on. Oh man, we're gonna be staying in most of the day. I'm gonna go to the gym later on this morning and then we're gonna go to the so oh. sweet. We're gonna go to the grocery store. That's right, sweetheart. But look, this is why I've been taking notes for my uh, purpose driven life video regarding focus. Focus on. <laughs> focus. I make sure I do three things every morning when I get up I stretch, I pray. I do several things actually, but I stretch, I pray, slash read my Bible verse. So here's my and 13 things I did. I things. eat candy. I eat, <laughs> I eat. And I drink water. <laughs> I don't do all that. I eat snacks. I drink water. I eat food. I didn't know you had a, a third uh, I didn't know you had a list of things that you do when you get up to. You do two things when you first get up. You drive me crazy and you snuggle. I uh, know. <laughs> I'm the type of person when I watch a show, I either binge watch. I can't watch multiple shows or I will stop. Um, like right now over the weekend, I'm binge watching Orange is the New Black. And come Monday, I will stop. Meaning tomorrow I will stop because I'm doing claws and power. I don't, cause I don't have time for that. Queen Sugar, I wanted to get into. However, I can't because of one thing, Kofi. When I tell you y'all, that young man is so fine. And, and, and the episode I saw, he came out on the porch dressed in all white. I, I, I literally had, I, I, was, I was like, it was like in slow motion. I was like, what is this? What type of sorcery is this? Look at this creature. This man, that man is, but he's so young. No, no. So yeah, I'm not gonna do much today because I'm gonna have to go I'm into the office the all day tomorrow. Well, can you go feed, feed your fish, please? Y'all, let me show y'all this book, one of the books I'm reading him. Let's show him the inside. It is so, isn't this cute? Can y'all see it? It is so, look at that afro, so cute. Let me open it up. The illustrations in these books are, let me show you one page. Just beautiful, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. This is just a beautiful book. Look at that. Beautiful chocolate. I love the illustrations. This one is cute too. And this is one that we've been reading, the library book. Very, very adorable. You know what, Jamie? <laughs> I'm trying to do it. <laughs> Loki, this is how this is how YouTubers do their thumbnails. They pause for a little bit. Sometimes I forget. That's why my thumbnails, <laughs> sometimes my mouth be half open and stuff. Mm. 
JB, you ain't doing it right. My God. I will, I, I want to spend time with my husband, so I won't be vlogging that much this coming week. I'll probably release this vlog the week of my birthday, but I will show the cake and I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'll show them, you know, that's what I'll do. I'll show my cake and I'll show them how I'm getting ready and where we're going, but I don't want to vlog throughout the week. Does that make sense? All right, y'all, see you in a couple more days. Bye.